And hello all of my fellow nerds out there. This is Oracle Nerd Richie and welcome back to Tattoos and Tulips. <clears throat> um, with la last part we covered chapters 12 and, thir 12 and 13. And now we're going to be co covering chapter 14. 14. Head, Clover, Heels. Life is the flower for which love is the honey. Victor Hugo. The first thing I hear when I wake up before my eyes op even open is Shay's voice. He's on the phone, sitting in his, di in his dining room, from what I can hear. It's hard to make out just what he's saying, but he must be keeping his voice down to keep from waking me up. I snuggle it into his comforter. I didn't have a blanket on what I, what I, when I fell asleep, but I have a good guess how it got on me. I check my phone. It's exactly 6 a.m. It's early 6 a.m. to be exact. The sun is just just now up, but I'm thankful to have awakened before my alarm. My alarm. The, the shop opened at seven, so I still got some time before I got to get got to be there. <coughs> I'm surrounded by Shay's smell. Hearing his voice is enough to lull me back to nerd the dreamless sleep. I do wish he'd get off the phone so I could talk to him just a little bit more before I have to go. As if he heard my thoughts, he's off the phone and in, in, in the room only moments later. I meet eyes with him, though his look downhearted and wrong. I didn't know you were awake. Good morning. The bad look seems to dissipate, but only because he's making an effort to be rid of, rid of it. Was that just his morning look? Good morning. I try not to get too hung up on it. Our time is limited after all. I uh, just got off the phone with, with Ellie, my ex. Coming out, coming out, coming right out with it, huh? Did you reach out to him? Yeah, I want to smooth things over, get closure and all. You okay? More or less. It's hard, but it's also important. He said he wants to come come here to retrieve some of the stuff he left and see B again. I don't know when exactly, but I'm super nervous. We didn't talk for a super long time. I didn't say anything I wanted to say. Everything I wanted to say. Just tried to keep things casual. I kind of just froze up. We said a perfectly good opportunity. He still looks a bit shaken. You'll get the chance to say what you want to say when you see him again, right? That's the idea. It's good, it's good you guys can still talk, even if it's rough. He sits down beside me and rests his head hand on my hand on my, his hand on mine. He take he takes a deep breath before speaking. I'm glad too. I'm even happier that I free, that I didn't freeze up yesterday at least. Because I can speak when it counts. That forces a smile out of me, though it's becoming a, a lot simpler for him, I imagine. I didn't mean to spend the night. He won't hear me complain. <laughs> I blush, but it doesn't stop me from saying what I need, what I want to say. Now that we're boyfriends, I have to be more open. Me neither. Just didn't want to intrude. You can never. I doubt that. You've got stuff to stuff stuff you got to do. Yeah, but if you ever want to drop by and keep me company at the shop after you work, work, you are more than welcome to. You know, one of the highlights of my job is, is it never really feels like one. We order pizza, talk a bunch of new, talk to a bunch of new people, and I get to get to do what I love. My granny always said, if you if you love what you do, you never work a single day in your life. That that is a that actually is a really good good thing that I follow to this day. Like like seriously, why do people keep like what, like would you rather have a job that job that pays well but you don't like doing or a job that or or a job that doesn't pay well but you still love doing it anyways i think i'd probably take the latter or latter rather than the former because because trust me even if it because trust me, if something you do doesn't doesn't even pay you that much you could still love doing it if it's something you if it is something that you love to do uh anyways is that how you feel? I love my job. It's a cu it's a customers I'm not the biggest fan of, but everything else is super enjoyable. So you work every once in a while and 
Why would I buy your granny one? Yeah, definitely. Maybe when I fully take over the shop from granny, I, uh, I'll have my coworkers do most of their customer stuff. And so, Chris's reign of terror begins. I push him playfully. There it is. I knew you didn't see me as some delicate flower. I do. You just got some thorns, that's all. I like that about you, though. You're feisty. Ooh. I like that. <laughs> it's interesting hearing how he sees me, but I take no offense to it. I don't think it's... I don't think his description is entirely wrong. It does make me think, though. Is that your type? I don't think I really have a type. At least, not looks-wise. Unless you count being a guy, I guess. <laughs> but you do personality-wise. Thank you! This game knows me! My mom said I liked all things spicy. Even my partners. Damn! Okay, then. <laughs> Getting right into things now, aren't we? <laughs> a little bit in the early in the morning for that, don't you think, Shay? <laughs> uh, I fucking love these two. I'm... spicy? Very. But don't worry. I can handle it. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, bro, my friend my friend Jackie would fall head over heels for Shay. I bet she would. When he gets that smug look on his face, it sets me on fire. Maybe I am spicy. We'll uh, see about that. Jay pushes a straight, straight up hair behind my ear. You're so cute. <laughs> I thought the very I thought that the very first time I saw you. Then you opened your mouth. Hey. You didn't let me finish. Then you opened your mouth and got even cuter. I thought you were going to kick me out of the shop, honestly. <laughs> I honestly thought so too. He laughs it off. Are you some sort of masochist or something? He thinks for a moment and then shrugs. I didn't hear a no. <laughs> But I don't press. I'm sure I'll figure it out sooner or later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. What do you like about me, huh? What a loaded question. What don't I like about him is a better question. But he doesn't need a big he doesn't need a bigger head. I'll give him an abrace version. You're nice. <laughs> You're nice. Huh? That's it? I'm a nice guy. I chuckle at his reaction. Yeah? What's wrong with that? I mean, I guess it could have been worse, but that's it. Not even talented. I can play the guitar, you know. Really? How good? Wouldn't you like to know? Now, I feel like I'm trying to prove my worth to you. To be fair, I haven't played much since, uh, the breakup. But I still can. That can't be the only thing you like about me. A decent guy. No. You're also pretty funny. His shoulders slump and he gives me me an okay now I see your now I know you're screwing with me as look. There's just too much to say. You're just special. You're unlike anyone I've ever met. Aww. He seems to be satisfied with that, and gives me a hug, squeezing me. I know that was hard for you to say, but I'm glad you did. I really thought you wouldn't like me. When I confessed, I thought you were going to throw me out. You really think that low of me? I think you'd be one of those grumpy old men, yelling at kids to get off their lawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you see me? Yeah. But way cuter. I don't know if I should be offended or not. Chris? Yeah? Can I kiss you? We're a couple now. <laughs> you don't have to ask. <laughs> I like how I like how like so softly his voice is. It's just adorable. I just like hearing you say you want to. This guy, he's trying to kill me. So, can I take that as a yes? I give him a kiss to stop the pointless charade. And it's so wonderful it was everyone, everyone before then. We spend the remainder of my time before work, before work doing just that. 
Luckily and unfortunately, my alarm pop puts a stop to it all. Like waking up from a wonderful dream, right? As it's, as it's getting good. Shay groans. Already? It says as if we don't we don't spend the last 15 to 20 minutes glued to each other, but I agree it wasn't enough. I could have easily spent the entire day just like this. Distance makes the heart grow fonder, I suppose. A hard thing to symp sympathize with when I want to be what be one of the many pictures on the wall. <coughs> Grow together with him like a grapevine. To be sta to be stained on his skin like one of his tattoos. I know this feeling will fade. This borderline obsession. But I bask in this wonderful feeling for as long as my heart will allow me. I'm just elated to know I'm not the only one. I have to pry Shay off me just to get out of his bed, though I struggle and fight it's very weakly. The only thing keeping me going from scolding, going is the scolding I receive if I'm late, if I'm late to work by Granny. Too bad we didn't get breakfast or something. I'm pretty satisfied. I toss one of his pillows at him. You need to eat something. I mean it. Yes, sir. I've got some stuff to get stuff on the go. Grab a granola bar or some fruit on your way out. I take him up on his offer, grabbing an apple and a honey crunch granola bar from the counter. He meets me at the stairway, grabbing my waist and giving me one last kiss. Have a good day. Feel, feel free to text me when you get bored. I'll see you later. You will? You said I can drop by the shop, right? He nods eagerly. Maybe we'll order pizza or something. It's a date. I could, I try to hold, hold back a smile but fail. <coughs> Have a good day, Shay. I miss you already. I laugh it off, even, even if I agree. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. Is that humming I hear? I realize I am in fact humming and plucking petals off an innocent daisy and deny it despite being caught red handed. <coughs> you should have seen me when I was with your grandpappy. I did everything, short of spinning around in an empty field, singing, I twirled my hair, wrote our names on every piece of paper. My teachers loved that, let me tell you, and hummed just like you are now. I wasn't. Besides, I wouldn't compare Shay and I to you and Poppy. How come? Well, I don't know. You knew you were going to marry Poppy when you met him. I never thought about marrying Shay. You don't, you don't think he'd make a great husband? We've only been dating a month. I don't, I don't even know if he'll be a good one after we get used to each other. Of course you do. Why else would you have decided to go into a relationship after swearing them off so, for so long? She's got a point. I hate that she does. How would Shay be, be as a husband? He makes everything more fun, even the mundane things. I fell asleep quicker than I had in months every time I stayed over at his place. He's so warm and smells so good. His apartment is so clean and he takes great care of himself. He never fails to make me laugh and he wants to be and he wants to be a dad someday. Hold on, why am I thinking about marriage? Granny giggles. A man in love is such a funny thing. I am not in love. Yes, yes, of course. Whatever it is you want to call it, you're fond of that boy. It's written all over your face. Never about my love life. What about you and Rich? Love life? I'm not in love with Shay, am I? Bro, your boyfriend. Of course you're in love with him, you idiot. <laughs> no, definitely not. Do I like him? Oh, so much. But can I imagine falling for him? You already fell for him! Oh my god, is this... Bro, is this guy dense or what? Am I falling? There's no doubt about it. Rich and I? We are as happy as two bugs in a rug. I... I was... It wasn't too long ago when we were all lovey-dovey. I love that feeling. Everything is so exciting. A touch of my hand. And a look across the room. Oh, hanging on to every word they say and playing it over and over again in your head. That sounds like us, all right. That's love. It, it is? Oh no, not this. I can't just. 
They can't just keep things as they are for a bit. Why do my emotions keep getting away from me? Who decided our brain, our brain got to feel like things we didn't want to? I just want to talk. There's a ring in the door. B! Hello! Granny is around the counter and hugging B before I get a chance to respond. Granny! They swing through, through their hugs. I haven't been seeing you around very much. How have you, how have you been busy? Have you been busy? Oh man, you have no idea. It's not, it's no problem though. I thrive in chaos. I have, I have no doubt. I'm glad you decided to make the time to, for us to, in your busy, in your busy schedule. Of course. What's up? I want to talk to you about Shay's birthday next week. His birthday is coming up? Makes sense. Makes sense he wouldn't have told you. He's never been big on celebrating it. His mother Je his mother is Jehovah is Jehovah's Witness, so they didn't celebrate on holiday holidays growing up. What are you planning on doing then? Throwing him one anyway. He deserves one. Plus it wouldn't be the first time. Ellie and I threw him birthday parties when we when we were in high school. I want to help. I'd hope so. He's your boyfriend after all. Wait, what? Since when? Since this whole past month, where have you been? I could ask you the same thing, but I've been bu busy, so let's just call it even. I have been just going to work and Shay's for weeks now. I hate being the last to know these things. You're literally the second person I've, th I've told though. I'm so happy for you guys. Th then yes, I agree. You should plan most of it. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. We've got we got our work ahead of us, Dad. Will you have a Will you help too, Granny? Of course. I'm gonna get my notebook out of the car and, and rain. You left rain in the car? What? The air conditioning is on. They got water and snacks. They listen to Blood Grave album. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God! Pl please. Somebody, somebody out there draw rain in that with that one meme where it's just like the person's in the that person's in the car or whatever's in the car is just it says the sign where it says they're don't do not do not take them out the, the air conditioning is on they're having their favorite snacks and drink and listening to their favorite music please please let the, someone draw that meme I want to see that. They thought I'd just be be here for a second, but they had no plan. Should I order takeout? Yeah, I'm starving. Rain just see, Rain joins us and seeks the go. And seeing a goth at a flower shop is now my new favorite thing. It's so bright in here. <laughs> it's called sunlight, you vampire. Despite Rain's usual lack of enthusiasm, they stick around and help us come up with a surprise party for Shay. I, for one, am happy for their company. Once Granny and Bee get together, there's no stopping them. We'll be planning, shopping, and hosting like our lives depend on it. I'm a little unsure of how all the thing, of all the things Shay likes, which I wish he told me his birthday was coming up. I could have planned a lot sooner. I'll be sure to ask him about it later. Now the real question is, what do I get him? Chapter 15. Grow with the flow. I want to do. I want to do with you what the spring does with the cherry. Spring does with the cherry trees. Pablo Neruda. In the time leading up to Shay's birthday, I did what I'd been doing the whole time we'd been dating by visiting every day at the shop. Not that it was a hard thing to do. But every night I visited, it became so much easier as well. Shay's co-workers, or his apprentices as he calls them, were all super friendly and cool. I didn't really fit in, but they made me feel welcome by, ju by just being Shay's. He introduced me as his, boy as his boyfriend, and though I had already 
already got it in my head, it never failed to make me feel fuzzy inside. I was his, and he was mine. Every night we spent eating dinner together, hanging out and talking before before going up to his room at two in the mor two in the morning after closing and going to bed together. Then I'd wake up and go to work, rinse and repeat. <coughs> every day is brighter, every song sounds better, as silly as it seems, even food is tastier. Watching him tattoo his patrons was so cool. More enjoyable than I thought it'd be. Dude, I've actually been to a tattoo parlor. They're really cool. Like, really cool people at work there. I have a hard time handling needles and blood, but he's always so careful not to overwork the skin and give a patient plenty of needle breaks. Of needed breaks. Even, even those who are nervous or twitchy, he could talk down. He could talk down. I think one day I want to get a tattoo of my own. But only if Shay is the one to do it. Oh. How, how personable is he is with not only his co-workers, but every person who comes in. He has a wall, a wall filled with the names of people he's tattooed, and the day he, they got their first tattoo from him. He's a better boyfriend than I could ever imagine him to be. He leaves me a little note, notes in the bathroom mirror of his apartment. He always makes sure, sure to ask how great he is, and I constantly catch him staring at me. I never sat down and thought about my ideal partner, but he's pretty darn close. The worst thing, the worst thing, thing about him that, that he's grouchy when he doesn't eat, but even that's understandable. When when he sits in one spot all night and concentrates on his work, he is also super trusting, <coughs> almost dangerously so. So, <coughs> one time some guy didn't have his money. His, money on him to pay, and instead of having the guy call someone to bring bring the money, Shay let the guy go home. Luckily the guy came back and paid, but he could have easily have scammed him. Lastly, and admittedly the wor his worst quality, if I had to find one, that it one is that he likes pull pulling teeth to get he like it's like pulling teeth to get him to talk about himself. It, even when I directly ask he always keeps it vague and turns it to, to me somehow. I I am an open book in comparison. <laughs> even when it came to his birthday, not even not even a passing mention of it, which made it easy not to spill the beans about his surprise party. We we'd been planning it planning, but it made me think. Even if even if he wasn't used to celebrating it, would it, would it be that easy to forget forget it all together? I hope that's I hope that's all there is to it, and we won't embar won't embarrass or upset him by throwing his party in this party. I trust B with when she says she's thrown him a party before, and I want to do something nice for him. Otherwise, what kind of boyfriend would I be? However, if these were the were the worst things I could say about him, him then I can, for once, count myself as one of the lucky ones. We're we're still taking it slow. <laughs> but the best the best we know how anyway, especially when every every day begins and ends with him. The morning of Shay's party, we had everything planned out. Phase one, as we slowly wake up, scrolling on our phones, I call to Shay. Hey babe. Shay whips around to face me. His eyebrows raise and his eyes dilate. I don't really I don't really call him pet names, but I have to make sure phase one goes over smoothly. <coughs> and the only way to ensure that is to keep keep it cutesy. Yes? Can I stay here while while you go to the gym? I'm off today, so I just wanted to sleep sleep in. I don't wanna leave. I keep my voice sort of tired and whiny, but not so much so. It's almost begging. Trust me, this is a strategy. This is, this is big brain, people. This is big brain. It gives me a tender kiss on the cheek. Of course you can stay. Of course you can. Stay as long as you want. Really? He chuckles and grips my face and gives me another kiss. His hand ma makes its w way into my hair as he holds my face to answer me. Never go. His voice is hoarse and serious. That's odd. 
I look at him. We just sit there staring for a while. He looks intense. I'll be here. He nods. You look adorable this morning. I mean, you do every morning, but... He looks at me for a while. That's where it's coming from, Mr. I woke up like this by... This himself. He seriously always looked good. It wasn't fair how... It wasn't fair how could anyone possibly compete. You say I look sexy? He flexes. I'm flushed. We, he's wearing nothing but his boxers. Yeah, just to prove it, he's in his boxers, okay? There's, there's not, there's nothing explicit here, okay? He's just in his boxers. It's, we all good here. Somehow, by some miracle, we managed to refrain from having sex this long. <clears throat> it's all on account of that keeping, it, uh, that keeping it slow thing. It's, it's one of the lines we were both hesitant to cross. It hasn't stopped a heated makeout session, imagine it, imagining or near daily morning would, but I feel like I'm beginning to reach my limit. He will always look good. I see his whole chest, his hair de down to his shoulders. Like, is his hair actually that long? Cause like, my hair goes, my hair goes down like, in comparison, my hair goes down to like, I'd probably say half, so I would say like a third down my back? I don't know, it's very hard to tell, tell for me. He looks like a dream. He's mine. I practically hop, a, hop onto his lap at that. <clears throat> My arms tangle around his neck and I kiss him, desperate this time. He holds me there with, there with his hands in my lower back. <clears throat> I devour him. He was clumsy at first, probably since he didn't expect me to jump him. <laughs> but he's returning my kiss in no time. All I, all I see, I'm stuck. All I see are stars. I'm starting to unravel at the seams. Chris, you gotta remember the plan is the Simone surprise party. You gotta remember the plan. Stick to it. This is it. We're right here together. The early morning. No one is around. There's nowhere to go. And it's his birthday. I couldn't have picked a more perfect time. We're going to do it. I'm clued in by the stiff stiffness beneath me. I kiss it as kisses. The usual tuggy of my own lip. Most of his teeth. Tasting him even this early in the morning is still so wonderful. <laughs> oh gosh. I have, I have to brace myself when I'm ready. Thank god I'm not a virgin. <laughs> I actually give him a good start. I break our kiss and catch my breath. I bend my, my head from, from between us. Shay, I want you. There's a flash of something in his eyes. Fear? His face softens, looking at me and thinking. Then he grits his teeth and falls, and falls it back on his shirt. Chris, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Huh? Something, something in me creeps the deadly head. Oh, no, it isn't you. It really is me. Not that line. We aren't breaking up, right? I meant, I'm just, I'm not ready. Are you a virgin? No, not at all. <laughs> no real surprise there. How could someone like him stay you ever stay a virgin? <clears throat> Unless he was practicing some form of celibacy or personal torture. Jeez. He definitely didn't kiss like one. Then what was it? Me? He's done it with other people, but not me. Chris, you can't guilt him into doing it with you. He said he doesn't want to. That's it. Yes, just be understanding, okay? You don't have to do it every day, alright? <clears throat> My bad. I didn't mean to seem like I was pressuring you or interrogating you. I just am surprised. We did say we wouldn't. We've only been dating for about a month. Yeah, that, that is fair. That is true. Though somehow it feels so much longer. But I have to come down to, to reality. It's only been a month. Staying in his apartment every night isn't really taking it slow either, though. He presses his eyes closed and runs the bridge of his nose. I, uh, I got to get, get to the gym. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll look up the shop on the way way out. He gets up to get ready. Shay? Hmm? He peers over his shoulder and my words get caught in my throat. <coughs> the Titans, wait, am I going to cry? Is it... 
I try to compose myself, but I have to say it. Is it me? He doesn't say anything, but he shakes his head. Then, I already said, it's just too soon. That's it. You just need, just listen to me, okay? I nod robotically. I'll be back later. Get some rest. <sighs> this wasn't going according to plan. I mean, it was, but this wasn't how I imagined we'd leave off. I hesitate to say anything, so I don't risk upsetting him. I can't push. He's right, but why does it hurt so much? This thing of rejection. But it wasn't really rejection, I just have to be patient. Yeah, it, it's just patience, Chris. It'll be okay. It'll be alright. It just... It, you're just... It's just like, um... It's like first and second base, and that's it, okay? You... Just... Take your time, like... See, this is this is like one of the pieces of advice I give when it comes to dating. It, um, always take your time with your partner. Get to know them first, like... See if you like them or not, and stuff like that. Like, the more you... The more you date someone, the more you slowly get... But surely get used to them. And the more you'll learn about them. It's all, it's always better that way. <sighs> oh god, I'm tired this morning anyways. Well, it's afternoon now, but whatever. God damn it, Chris. I smacked my head. Get a grip. Today's his birthday. I should be thinking about... He comes out not too long after and gives me a soft, almost lifeless kiss, but he still gave me one. He must be holding back. I'll see you later. No babe, no smile. <clears throat> I must have upset him. Shake, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to seem forceful. I'm sorry. He shakes it away. Don't apologize, I'm just, I feel a bit weird. I, I can't really put it, put it into words. I just, I uh, just need a second. We'll talk about it later. We will? But the next time I see you is when we surprise you. But I won't pass it out. Okay, be safe. He gives me a weak smile and descends down the stairs. When I hear the shop door open and close, I sluggishly get out of bed and begin preparations for phase two. I compose myself and be the best I can, texting B that he's gone. I say with my I sit with my phone in my hand, wondering what went, what went all wrong. He says he, he says I didn't need to apologize, but then what did I do? How, how do I get rid of this uncomfortable feeling, this stinging? My phone buzzes. We're on our way. B is two to a word, and everyone shows up ten minutes later. <clears throat> Not nearly enough time to sort out my feelings, but maybe the only thing that I can do is just push past it. Focus on throwing him the best surprise birthday party possible. How long is he usually at the gym again? <coughs> a couple hours? It depends on the complexity of the set. He usually showers when he's there, so maybe a bit longer? We still don't have a crazy amount of time, regardless. <coughs> we, set, we set the tables up against the wall, dropping out all our decorations, gifts, and, and groceries, taking just a moment to catch our breath. Chris, if you want to start baking Shay's cake now, you should. Then come down here and help us set up. I nod. B, start sweeping. Oh man, I hate sweeping. <laughs> Zoe and I know her well enough that even if she complains, she's still going to. Rain, start blowing up some balloons. Yippee. <laughs> Yippee. Zoe ignores her sarcasm and turns to the rest of the group. You, babe, you think you can hang the banner on the streamers? You are the tallest here. She is right. He is pretty damn tall. She, she looks like a Zoe looks like a dwarf in comparison. You can count on me, babe. She flashes him a fond smile. Granny, you are going to set up the food, right? Of course, dear. Did Granny not have a? I know Granny did have a voice actor. I'm stupid. Thank you. Who put Zoe in charge again? Zoe. They exchange a chuckle at her expense. Zoe is quick to turn to, to us all and point her finger, finger in a warning. If I left this to any one of you, excluding Granny, we wouldn't get it done in time. We're wasting time. Chop, chop. 
She cuts her hands, and despite all our complaining and rolling of our eyes, we all jump jump when she says jump. My birthday was good thanks to good thanks to everyone's efforts and Zoe's leadership, so I don't question her authority and start to pre pre the oven and change apartment my groceries in hand. I baked many cakes in my day, but this by far is the most important. After some long deliberation, I settled on settled on red up. Oh my god, stop predicting me, game! <laughs> okay, seriously, if one of you devs made this game specifically for me, I swear to god. <laughs> How do you guys know that I like Red Velvet? It's literally one of my favorites! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> there's no damn way I, I... There's no damn way I downloaded this game this this story, it just to see this have everything correct about me. Like, come on, man! Stop being so predictive. It's not fair. She loves chocolate, and I have yet to meet someone who doesn't like cream cheese icing. Yeah, I'm not really too much on cream cheese icing, but like, icing is icing. It's fine. It's on a cake. I put it together slower than usual, I'll admit. I carefully measure out everything, clean the dishes as I went, sure to leave it as I found it. <coughs> I set the timer on my phone, head downstairs to help like I said I would. I hear music playing and everyone already making decent progress. It's already looking like a party. There's a table full of guests for Shay. The one, the one that stands out is the one Granny and I couldn't wrap. A floral arrangement made specifically for the shop. It's a mix of, the, of my worst enemy, silk flowers, but if I wanted, wanted the gift to last, I had to go to the store. Granny and I were nearly cringing at the selection, but with her and I skill, her and I skill, we managed to put together something that something together that we didn't absolutely despise. We were careful to use purples and oranges, but. To keep to keep it from looking like a Halloween decoration, we we stuck the red to reddish purples and vibrant ombre oranges. Ooh. We still wanted it to be a to be a year-round decoration. But, and what we settled on is definitely a lot more tasteful than anything you'll find on the shelves in October. It's technically a gothic floral skull arrangement, but we kept color as a priority. Pops of lavender, green grapes, and pale pink tulips. <coughs> it's got a base, a thrifted, a thrifted and repainted cake stand, and a lap that is lace of, of black and white, off white and purple. Then pale leaves and an arrangement of roses, since that, since those seem to be the most common flowers at the store, but also a common tattoo, so it worked out pretty well. Hand painted to get get the variety of color we wanted, red pails and off whites and grays. The skull itself we paint we painted took a vintage and aged use aged using bluish gray hue. We we wanted it to look like it it was set in that in a field somewhere and, and greenery made made home there. I spent a long time looking at it, deciding if I like it. Granny and I spent about a week painstakingly working on it, adjusting the colors and arrangement until I didn't hate it. If, if it weren't for her, I don't know if I would, would have ever come to, to a result I was happy with, but I do like it now. Now it's just a matter of if Shay will love it. I pray that's the case with everything I have. I have to s I have to see him smile. Thanks to everyone's hard work, we do manage to get to get done with within the, the hour. Both of Shay's co-workers show up as well. They were all struck by the display. I got the cake decorated and set up for everyone to see. One of Shay's co-workers, Jenny, ogles at the cake. It looks so good. Chris Chris, you cater. You, you gotta make my cake. Do you cater? You gotta make my cake. I, I do actually. I'll be sure to text you when, text you when the time comes. Then, anything for a bit of extra cash. 
I take a once over everything. I'm surprised by how seamlessly I've planned it gone so far. It wouldn't have been so easy to get into the shop had I not agreed to sh stay in Shay's apartment this morning. Hence the importance of phase one. It went over so smoothly until I... Chris, focus. It's done with. He said I didn't do anything wrong. Then why do I feel so damn guilty? You should be here any minute, guys. Time to commence phase three. One of Shay's co-workers, Kai, leans to me. What's phase three? I'm supposed to call Shay and ask when I'll be back. I don't really want to, though. But I have to. If I keep act acting like something's wrong, it'll just make things worse. I have to push past this. I pull my phone and dial away. It rings and everyone watches silently. My stomach sinks up a bit as the key's ringing. Is he not going to answer? <clears throat> don't tell me he's avoiding me. Click. Hey. What's up? His voice sounded normal with the speaker of my phone. Everyone looks relieved as he picks up. I don't respond immediately. Chris? I choke him a bit, forgetting my lines. <clears throat> B's eyes widen and she yanks me on. Everyone is watching, waiting. Uh, sorry. I just, uh, wanted to know when you'd be back. I think there might be a leak downstairs. <sighs> Again. Yeah, I, uh, I'll be back in like five minutes. She's co-workers exchange a look and giggle. There isn't a leak for once, but Shay doesn't need to know that. <laughs> but Chris, you devious dog. It's a believable story, one, one way constructed to execute this plan perfectly. Okay, take your time, be safe. I make a, a move to hang up and he speaks again. Hey, yeah, what's wrong? I thought nothing about, about it as I asked. About this morning, by the way. Don't think too hard about it, man. I was just in a weird mood this morning. I'm sorry if it seemed like I wasn't interested in you. My heart constricts. Oh my god, everyone heard that. Put it off speaker, put it off speaker, put it off speaker! I, I turn off, I turn off the speaker and stop him in his tracks. It's fine. I didn't think anything about it at all, so don't worry. You sure? Yeah, of course. It's cool. There's some silence. Come on, get me off this call, please. Okay. If you say so. Like I said, I'll be there soon. Alright, bye. I hang up as quickly as I can. B gives me a worried look and I dodge it. Not now, we've got a party to throw. Everyone, get in your positions. I'll get the light. It's been harder to hide when there are, there are giant windows in front, but we manage as best we can. I hunch down, dreading his return, the exact opposite of what I should probably be feeling like right now. He was in a weird mood? What does that mean? Was he just not able to perform or something? Was that all it was? Did I just embarrass him this morning? Put him on the spot or something? I... I don't know. But today isn't the day to talk about it. There are more important things on hand. What is taking him so long? Chris just got off the phone with him. B groans and everyone giggles. Under normal circumstances, I would find this humorous. A bunch of gro grown-ass adults on their... on their fours in the dark for a surprise party. But I can't bring myself to even crack a smile. Everyone! Shay's coming! Stay quiet. We do just that and my heart pounds against my chest. <coughs> Shay makes a move to unlock it and looks irritated when, when it's unlocked. He swings open the door and Zoe turns on the light. We all shoot up. Surprise! Happy birthday, Shay! He looks stunned, looking around and catching my eyes. He, did, he doesn't move for a second. I look around. Does he? Does he hate it? Did we do something wrong? <coughs> Guys, you shouldn't have. He flashes that smile and I feel my heart begin to ease. But it doesn't quite rest. Chapter 16, the root of the problem. A flower cannot blossom without sunshine and a, a man cannot live without love. Max Muller. 
<coughs> but I think this is a good time to stop this video for now. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think, share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye! You say you wanna try, but you never do. Sugar.